All right, so um, it's uh, 1.52 on a, uh, it's uh, January 16th, 2022, and um, <clears throat> I'm sitting in an undisclosed location. This is actually uh, Forest Park in St. Louis, and um, waiting for my friend to join the call, Mitchell Von Gimmigan. Uh, guy I've been friends with since high school, Belleville West. And um, he and I, he's, uh, he and I uh, have recently discussed, we were discussing the other day, um, you know, sort of pushing ourselves to be a little bit more uh, consistent with putting out some extracurricular uh, non-work related um, projects. And so I've got a couple that I've been thinking about for a long time that I keep every year making myself promise to um, get on it and kind of do a little bit more, uh, put a little bit more work in because I'm 55, he's 50 something. And you know, if you, if you ain't going to start now, when are you going to start? And then the other way of looking at that is, well, I'm 55. Why start now? But uh, I've always been interested in art. I've always been interested in writing, in literature. Uh, I've done a, a little bit of writing. Um, but uh, a few years back, uh, I started a blog. Now, it's probably been about 10 years back. And I'm really lackadaisical about posting on that blog and uh which was fine in the beginning because you know i, I really wanted to um I, the blog the purpose of the blog was really just for myself and i wanted to just sort of put down thoughts that i had i was trying to uh explore finding a new career i was really um burned out i mean i would go from job to job to job and immediately sort of be burnt out on on it and it wasn't what it, they weren't fitting and uh you know, I, they weren't satisfying me creatively. Um, I couldn't wait to clock out every day. And I just thought that's a terrible way to live. And so I, I started this blog called a day And I started more carefully um, analyzing work and life and how those two things can best play together. Well, as I wrote the blog, I found myself moving into a whole new uh, work life experience. So I, I, I think the, the blog worked for me. Um, it helped me organize my thoughts around work and life. And um, now I'm at a place where I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with, I guess you'd call it my work life balance. And um, so now what, you know, and uh, I still feel like I want to uh, do things. I, maybe I want to maybe spread this uh, a little bit to other people because I do run into a lot of people who struggle with the same um, problem as far as uh, just uh, doing careers that um, aren't life affirming, you know, and that aren't... Um, I mean, I just feel like we're not here on earth to just mark time. Uh, and you know, there's, there's, there's other things, there's family, there's, um, there's work, there's your personal life, I guess there's health, uh, different as aspects of, of living. But, uh, I feel like when any one of those spokes on the wheel is being neglected, uh, it's easy to sort of fall into, um, I, I don't know, maybe depression is too strong of a word. It, it, I was never really depressed. Uh, but I think in some people it manifests itself as depression. Uh, they feel like maybe they're just bumping into the same wall over and over again. And um, so getting back to why i'm recording today in forest park in st louis uh my friend who hopefully will be joining me in in just a few minutes mitchell and i made a bet the other day and the bet was that we were going to put a thousand dollars on this 
uh, if, if I don't full, uh, come through on my end with producing, I think we decided it was four pieces of content per week. Uh, I pay him a thousand dollars and he's going to give me a thousand dollars. If I'm not really sure, I think, uh, I can't remember exactly what his end of the bet is, but we'll talk to him about that. And, um, I have no intention of writing this guy a check for a thousand dollars. So that's, what's going to keep me honest for 2022. So going into our discussion, um, I, I had heard of this technique, I think on, um, Tim Ferriss on his podcast. And, uh, basically the, the idea is just make a bet with a friend or publicly tell your friends, you know, you're going to do something. For me, the thousand dollars seems like it's going to work though, because before I write a thousand dollar check, I think I'm going to be be more than happy to put the work in that I, that's going to be required of me that day. I, I can't think that uh, taking a day off from doing the thing that I love to do um, anyway, and instead writing a check to someone for a thousand bucks. I just don't see that happening. So I feel real optimistic about this going into it. And, um, you know, hopefully he'll be um, joining in in a second here on his computer or whatever device. And we'll get his side of it as well. I'm glad that you're able to find a, a place to get some shelter in order to, to take this call. Out yeah, I mean, I'm out here in California. Okay, in, uh, I thought maybe I thought I recognized. Yeah, yeah. so um, I'm sitting in uh, Forest Park. I was gonna meet the girls at City Museum and and thought I'd uh -huh. knock this out first. But all right, man. So what I want to talk about is our what is our understanding of this? Uh, what do you call it? Our gentleman's agreement. So what is the understanding? So let me, you want me to start with my side of it? Yeah, please. All right. So um, I don't know if this is going to hold up in court, but it's worth a try. So, so I don't I, know if the collar around your sweater is going to hold up, like just in general. I saw, it's a little hard That's sitting good. in this car. I saw a uh, Tim Ferriss, or I listened to a Tim Ferriss podcast and several times I've heard him talk about how if you want to, start a new practice and you want to be sure that you stick with it that you need to involve other people in it yep. let them know about it you need some accountability yep and he said another great way is to um to put some money on it so yeah. I, I thought yeah that does sound like a good way and but it would have to be enough of a, a sum of money that you really aren't gonna welch on your side of the bet so i suggested a thousand bucks and yeah i'm comfortable with that yeah a thousand dollars and and yeah. the way i see it is i want i, I don't even care about getting your thousand dollars i just want to i want to be motivated to not write mm -hmm. you a check for a thousand dollars although you're my friend and I, i'd love to write you a check for a thousand dollars but yeah. but you don't need it so, uh, so I don't want to, so I think a thousand bucks, if I'm sitting there and I'm about ready to, 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 to not do what I, what I said I was going to do, then, then I, I think a thousand bucks will motivate me to, and here I am sitting and I would probably today, I wouldn't be doing this. So I decided this was going to sort of be my first piece of content as part of my, so what I was, what I was saying was I, that four pieces of content per week mm -hmm. on my side was going to keep the thousand bucks in my pocket. Uh, I don't actually have a thousand bucks in my pocket right now, but um, so I think four pieces, I mean, that's, it does sound like a lot. Like that sounds a little bit, that sounds a little bit, um, what's the word? Uh, I, I'm, four pieces of content's hard, but a thousand bucks. I mean, it, so, yeah. So well, what, so, so this is all I, I already did a little pre-recording, which was probably why you couldn't get in on it because oh. I was just testing it out. But 
I uh, I explained on the screen that uh, the 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 thousand bucks bet on my side was that I have to contribute four items on my blog a day on dot com and or or that it can you know like, yeah yeah I mean I think I think it can take a turn if I decide that you know maybe I'm just gonna do videos or something like that that's fine too it doesn't necessarily have to be written format written or video probably but who knows what else so um but four pieces of content that are towards that theme of uh, the theme would be sort of just taking a day to do something creative, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully bringing more and more of those together if that's what you see you, that you want to do. And like, you know, so it might be transformation in terms of employment or a, a transformation in, form, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, health or whatever. But that's what that blog is about. So tell me about your side of the bet. Uh, well, I had to review what I uh, sent you last night um to make sure uh so that it's pretty much knew like the story wise what i was going to do because that's easy it would be two stories a week to complete have two stories a week completed um so uh you know one story be more of a more adult and the other be you know one of the other uh kind of kids silly stories um and then have one story <clears throat> recorded, um, being read. And since I've already have, I don't know, probably 20, maybe, uh, stories that I've completed, uh, that wouldn't be, you know, I've already have things that I, I can sort of draw on. And then as well, uh, to have the, uh, soundtrack for a story be completed. So I don't necessarily, um, you know, want to uh, just work on one, recording one story and then have the music or whatever the soundtrack is be in the, uh, be as well. But so basically, yeah, like four pieces of content as well. Um, and, you know, be across uh, kind of the creative sort of spectrum as cool. well. Yeah. So let me ask you when you when you say recording cuz I I mean I'm not really I'm not asking this if there's an, if there is an audience reading listening to this watching this. I'm not I don't I really don't know what your goals are and all that. So what when you say recording what are you do you just mean audio? Yeah, me reading. Yeah. Now why why would you stop at audio? Why why wouldn't you incorporate video into it? Why, why, I mean, why not? Like, why not just have a camera running while you're recording the audio? Well, I, it does, I, I did, uh, I was speaking to Burbank about this earlier today. And um, that was something as well that I had thought of would be to, to possibly do that. Um, if I were to, you know, have, uh, you know, a channel down the road um, to have, uh, I mean, I don't know, you know, as far as like, I don't particularly think anyone wants to see me do anything except for turn a camera off if it's on me. So I, I don't think that people would necessarily want to see me, you know, read things. Um, right. Well, I feel that, I mean, I feel the same way about me. Like, I feel like, uh, I don't know, like, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. This big. <laughs> um, you know, but, but it is, I have to say it's, it can be a little entertaining and it, you know, uh, I mean, what, here's the thing. If you've got the, if you've got the video, you, you could always not use the video, but yeah, that's you, a good point. You know, you, you can just use the audio just, uh, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think that might be another element to the story. The, that, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else is doing that. That's like reading their own stories to the to the listener uh or the viewer you know i don't know i don't know i mean maybe there are people that are doing that but it seems like that might be kind of cool it's sort of uh, uh finalizing um i guess something sort of written with you know with like if it was a song and and i was playing you know the instruments involved in the song is you know as well as obviously singing is a an instrument or whatever the voice but uh 
you know, just sort of adding, uh, yeah, the true personalization of the uh, of the piece. Yeah, yeah and so it's like in January. I should bleep that it's January 16th. And, um, you know, I really, I thought that I, so for me, every January 1st, I always make a resolution to do exactly this. Then January 2nd, I'm like, okay, well I missed one day, but I'll do it today. And then by January 16th, I've fully committed to not doing whatever it was that I thought about. I mean, I'm completely fine with it. I've erased it from the realm of possibility. So, January 16th is, this is great. So, um, I think it's like, um, I, th- I, I think this is going to be, this is going to be, uh, a, a fun project. So I think yeah. I'll, you know, it'll be, I, so I think, I really think that in a year we're going to come back to this and we're going to go, we'll, we will have created something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah a whole lot of something as a, a counselor by profession. Do you think like is this like does this make sense like this this seems like obvious to me right now like as far like, as goal as, as far as motiv- motivating for behavioral uh uh modification yeah I, I think that you know uh exercise is always such the e- such the easiest analogy that people can use to compare to where they are you know and objectively measuring their body and whatever that means and things that they can do faster or more of Right. Um, so, uh, but, you know, as far as in, 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 in an attempt to truly change one's life, uh, you know, just for, just for doing it. I mean, there's people who I'm sure there are people out there who, you know, I don't know anyone right now, but who say they're going to read, you know, 52 new books a year or right. whatever. Um, and so, you know, they have something that they gain from that as well. And so this is just sort of, I guess, being on the other side, you know? So, yeah, I I think that any kind of definite sort of, uh, creative, uh, yeah, content creation is, uh, is only a positive thing because, you know, you find out more about who you are, whether you share it with anybody or not. Right. And I mean, it could even be just a, a journal or it could be push ups or it could be anything that's a little you, you feel like it's a desirable end result. But I don't know, for, for whatever reason, dude, I mean, I'm real fascinated with that. I listen to I love self-help stuff like yeah. I love I love like things that sort of promise that transformation, it not it not only can it really happen, but that it's a a good thing that ought to be attained, transform yourself and make yourself better. And I love that stuff, but I don't, I don't follow through with it. Yeah. I feel like getting on the roller coaster or something right now. Like I feel like I'm committing to it. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I think it's funny. It's, you know, many years ago, uh, you know, I tried the uh, uh, Albert Ellis approach of, of meeting women. And uh, was it the third or the third or the fourth week of January? Because, yeah, I started it. Yeah, I asked this woman out at the haberdashery. It was great. Oh, wait, are you serious? I was finding a Nehru jacket. And, and wait, wait. Was, what? Are you serious about this or are you kidding? Yeah, no. Albert Ellis? Who's that? 1998. Um, or 1999, I mean. Uh, Albert Ellis, you know, one of the fathers of uh, psychology, you know, a rational – uh, rational emotive behavioral therapy. So yeah, no, I, I, I went to the haberdashery, uh, when it was on South Grand with my friend Doug, and I was trying to find a Nehru jacket. Cause you know, that's what, you know, a, you know, that's how bored people get and they didn't have any, but the, the young, the young woman, um, she took my name down. She was, she was all right. Uh, she took my name. She was more than all right. She took my name down in my phone number. And because I wanted to, uh have that you know i wanted to ask her out but additionally i you know it was blur's day i believe and i needed to have something because i think i was i was doing it by saturdays and i knew the next day i had to work and i I wasn't going to ask a woman out at work so i gave her my my name my number she's like okay well 
you know, if we get uh, if we get one in, we'll call you. And I said, well, you know, if uh, you feel like uh, ever getting a cup of coffee, you can use my number and call me right there. And and evidently, according to Doug, uh, I was really smooth, a lot smoother than the way I just did. Right, that. right. So, but, you know, I did end up, uh, you know, finding, asking a woman out the third or the fourth week of January. And I married her and had a child and got divorced and everything, you know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that was but, part of this. That was part of this series. Like that was like your 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 marriage was was like the the, the end of this. Like, yeah. This <laughs> yeah, like the third. I think it was the third week of January. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I. Wow, yeah. it worked. I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, it. So that's the funny thing, is like ultimately what you it, wish for. Truly I mean, changed my life. Yeah, it made it completely. I, 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 changed I don't mean life. that in any kind of. I mean, it, but you know, it did. It didn't. I mean, yeah, it did change your life. I mean, yeah. so what you wish for can 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 be all kinds of different. It can come out a whole different way. All right, man. Uh, are you going to turn around and walk? So this is what I wore for the record when I was walking around Forest Park. Oh, okay. Earlier today, I got home just a little bit ago, and I didn't. I was like, well, should I? And I'm like, man, don't even don't even try to. It's a beautiful day in St. Louis, man. It's yeah. uh, only like 28 degrees, though. But all right. Listen, man, the bet is on. We'll check in later. Adios. Have fun, man. Thanks. Bye.